Hey guys, what is up? It is Jenna and Francis. Um, what is up? Welcome back. We are at Tom and Ash's house. If you guys do not know who Tom and Ash are, they are our best board game buddies. The bestest of board game buddies. They're our we even, board game buddies. <laughs> yeah. Well, we play Sad. some board No, we play board games with your parents. We mm -hmm. play board games with my parents, my family, your family. So... It's true. I classify them as board game buddies, but we do have a board games buddy, board game buddies Instagram chat with Tom and Asha. Mm -hmm. But yep. anyways, on the last vlog that I uploaded, I asked if you guys wanted to see this like board game day with us, um, and like five of you said yes, and that is enough. That is enough for me to, to film it, and I <laughs> honestly have been wanting to do this for a while. So we have brought Miss Penny. We have a bunch of board games in the back. We're going to have some food. It's going to be a good time. So A lot of hummus. A lot of apparently. hummus, apparently. Asha made too much. <laughs> Apple-flavored hummus. Really? You're disgusting. Apple-flavored hummus. Because she dropped her phone in it. Oh! Uh, <laughs> yeah, she dropped her Apple iPhone. How could, how, how could you I forget? forgot I, your dad. I told you that, that <laughs> joke this morning. I your dad joke. I'm so sorry. Okay, anyways, let's... Oh my goodness, Penny oh, is very hi. excited. Oh, she's so <laughs> pumped. Are you excited to see Tom and Asha? She's been stuck in this oh. car long enough. She's... Okay, we need to put your harness on there first, okay? Oh, the paws up. The paws up. Okay, put your harness on, okay? Yeah. You got Kendrick. <laughs> you got Rap. Yeah. We just wanted 
You might be carrying It's a little bit more generic. It's <laughs> <laughs> true. Occupation. <laughs> Nurse? No. Oh. Hairdresser. Hairdresser. They want to get stylist. Oh. <laughs> I should have said hair. Yeah, yeah you can't yeah. put hair because it's in Oh, yeah, no, you can't, right? Asha. Made by the famous baker. Asha. <laughs> Getting a massage. For my hard work. <laughs> For yeah. my, hard, my, my hard baking work. <laughs> I was supervisor, so... Oh, <laughs> he should also get a massage. <laughs> Next up... <Here>. Oh! <laughs> they're gonna break their coffee table, sir. What? A solid Pretty coffee sturdy. table. Yeah. Up? I have stood on this table. <laughs> Caverna, baby. It makes sense to show you all the stuff you can put on your farm and how many points it's worth, and then to work backwards to show you how to get all that stuff. You can place a field or a meadow on your farmland, and very often you can place this dual tile, and then everything else you build has to go adjacent to that as you chop down the forest. Meadows and fields can connect to each other any which way, but they can't go out of bound. Because it's three and then two. Wow. Yep. Go ahead, John. Take it.
arms looking great. The answer to that is I don't know how to get one for this. This game looks crazy on the table. There's just so much going on. Okay. I just get to do two actions. Action is yes. Another two point of it. And another one that you can repeat. You can get another one of that if you want. Oh, I could. Yeah. Each coin is worth a point at the end. Because mm -hmm. technically you're you're counting how rich you are at the end. Yeah. Whatever dwarf family is the richest. The These are worth two? Yep. Okay, so you get one point per farm animal and dog. Oh. And oh, dog. and dog! Oh, nice! Yeah. Okay, right. so me yep. is 20 mm -hmm. plus 2 plus 5 plus mm -hmm. 3 plus you 17 plus 5 minus 4. 48. Oh my god, I got worse than last time! I'm so bad at 48. Okay, Tom is 21. 21. Minus 2. Minus 2. Plus 5. Plus 4. Plus 3. Plus 5. Plus 17. Minus 4. Minus 4. Plus 16. Plus 16. Plus 16. 16 minus 56. Asha is 21. Mm -hmm. One plus one plus three plus three minus two minus two plus twenty eight plus twenty eight <laughs> plus ten plus ten plus ten plus ten seventy one. Oh my Ooh. god! Um, I actually forgot the four for Tom. So he has sixty. 60. 12. 12. <laughs> plus 2. Plus 2. Plus 1. Plus 1. Plus 3. Plus 3. Plus 16. Plus 16. Plus 15. Plus 15. 15. 49. Oh. What did you get, Jenna? I got 48. 48. No, oh. you did bad. Okay, so Tom's gonna get a point. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I think they're just toasted pita. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Like kind of like croutons. I'll be really good at hummus. I'm really trying to sell that hummus. <laughs> <laughs> the hummus is good, okay? These cupcakes are pretty good if you dip in hummus. <laughs> oh god. Gross. Let's not lie here. Anything is good if it's dipped in hummus. Right? Okay. But feta cheese on the other hand. Two full spoons. Feta cheese is flipping delicious. Fifty-three. 
Oh, no. <laughs> That's because your PD was so low, like you only got four. Yeah, I like wasn't focusing on this stuff at all. <laughs> yeah. But you got really far on that stuff. Oh I know, gosh. but it, but it, it was so... Te technically, that's not a allowed, right? Oh no, that that is allowed. It's, it's just that stuff. <laughs> the, the, uh... What the hell oh. is that? 87! Oh, okay. oh, let me, let me just <laughs> Tom's <laughs> cheating. I didn't, I didn't know, so. Tom Tom's cheating. Well, if you oh, erase, he loses. No, well, and if you, you're gonna erase one and then erase one from here, and it's fine. I'm and, and I still get the same points. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. Do you not believe me? I got so little points. Do you not believe that I? Yeah, I got little you? points too. I only oh, got okay. nine. Boy, I or, beat no, you. I, I actually, I did get. I got, I got ten points for this. Like, <laughs> like, so what, what were you guys' scores? Uh, she got eighty-seven. I got eighty-four. Oh. Do you remember what you got the first time we played? 100 something. What? Lies. Pretty sure, sure you cheated. How'd you get 100 like something? That. No, that's that's actually insane. No, I, I'm pretty sure I didn't get 100 something. Wow. When you put the entire contents of the board game in the lid. You start putting it in there. Loser. I did not start putting it in there. Don't put it, don't put the blame on me. By the way, 90? What? Oh, Hanami. We're playing Oh, Hanami. Oh. A wonderful Hanami. little card game about making a Japanese. What is it called? A Japanese. A Zen Garden. Zen Garden. There we go. Amazing. favorite game tonight? Caverna. 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 Yeah. Caverna. Yeah. All but around. Hadrian's Wall was like... Hadrian's Wall. Close. Close second. Close second. Yeah. I just liked Hadrian's Wall better because I won. That's pretty much it. And I got dead last for Caverna. <laughs> I think those are like the top tier games for replayability. Oh yeah. Caverna. For sure. Caverna? Both. Both. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hadrian's Wall and Caverna. Hello friends. It is a few days later. You guys are quite far away from me and I'm not I'm not used to this but I am currently sitting in our finished board game room which very excited to show you guys that but this is just the ending or like outro of our little board game day video which I had a lot of fun filming this and editing it and I do want to do more of these so please let me know down in the comments if you guys enjoyed this and give this video a thumbs up so I know to make more of these um, but yes it was a really good day we ended up getting to Tom Nash's house around noon and we played all the way until probably about 10 30 because they did have to work the next day so did I Francis had the day off but yes we tried to end it a little bit earlier than we usually do typically we play on like a Friday night or a Saturday night and we play until like 3 a.m 
which I know we are crazy. And then we wake up the next morning and sometimes we play another game before we split. Um, but yes, it was a good day and we ended up playing four games. We played just one, Caverna, Hadrian's Wall, and Ohanami. So uh, just one and Ohanami were kind of just like filler games that we played before and after. We typically like to do that. So just one is a cooperative game. We all played together and I don't think we did very well. You start with 13 cards and then you go around continuously until all 13 of those cards are gone and whatever ones you achieved you put in a pile and then at the end whatever number of cards that you achieved that's kind of like your ending score altogether. So I think out of 13, we got like eight or nine, maybe. We did pretty bad, but it was a lot of fun. It just one is a great like party game just to play with a bunch of people. I'm excited to play that one with like more than four people because we've only uh, ever played it up to four people. So that one I'm excited to play with lots of people, but we had fun with that. And then the second game that we played was Caverna. It was the heavier game of the bunch. And that one I think we played for like a solid three or four hours, um, but it was Tom and Ash's first time. So as Francis and I were um, setting up the board game, we put on a video for Tom and Asha to watch. So they kind of got the gist of the game, how to play while we were setting up, played that. Asha won and Tom actually did very well as well. I'm pretty sure both of them were like first and second and then Francis and I got third and fourth. Um, so yes, that was a fun one and they really, really enjoyed Caverna. So that is awesome. The funny thing about us and Tom and Asha is every single time we introduce them to a new board game, they end up wanting it. So we got them into the board game hobby, which actually we didn't get them into the board game hobby. We like made them more interested in it because I'm pretty sure Tom like played Terra Mystica, Terra Mystica and a few other games before we introduced the board game hobby to them but we definitely got them more into the board game hobby and every time we introduce one to them they want to get it so a lot of the board games that they have in their collection is thanks to us which is just hilarious um, but I'm so happy that we were able to do that and I think Caverna is probably one that they will want to get eventually, um, but it is a pretty big game. Um, but after Caverna, we ended up playing Hadrian's Wall, which is one of my favorites. I love it so much. They absolutely loved that one as well. And I was the winner of that one, which I was very pleased about because I do have to admit, I typically do not win board games. It's just the truth. I am not usually the winner, but sometimes I do win and it makes me very happy. And honestly, like, that's not the reason why I love board games. I am not, like, needing to win all the time and I just enjoy the process of the game. So, yes, I was very happy that I won Hadrian's Wall. It's a good one. Um, it's a very heavy flip and write. Hardly even a flip and write. You flip one card, get your resources, and then you do things on your page. So it's a very, like, solitaire kind of game where there's not a lot of interaction but honestly with a four player I was a little bit scared that we were all just gonna sit there and like there'd be no talking or anything sometimes there was no talking but like I was fine with it it was just fun to like all have our own sheets to work on we kind of chatted while we did it it was a really really fun time so I'm happy that we played it with four players because I was always so scared to play with four players um, but this was our first time and it went well, so yes, Hadrian's Wall was fun. And then the last game that we played was Ohanami, which is just one of our go-to card games. It was actually Tom and Ashes. We didn't bring Ohanami with us. Um, we also brought Concordia and Bitoku and Fleet the Dice game. Those three we didn't end up playing, but those will probably be the next three that we play on our next board game night when Tom and Ash come here to freaking play in our new board game room, which I'm so excited about. Um, but yes, Ohanami is a solid one. It's just a really easy card game, really chill, a good one to end the night off with because it's very calming and it is a like, not set collection, but you're collecting cards in ascending um, little rows, I guess. Uh, it's a little bit complicated to explain, but it's a really good card game. Definitely recommend checking it out. Um, but yes, that was 
a very long-winded outro, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments if you guys would like to see more of these videos, see just like more gameplay. Now that we have our board game room completely finished, I'm really excited to start maybe putting together a little streaming setup. So possibly in the future, Francis and I will start doing some board game live streams on Twitch. Um, if you're not following me already, Generos streams. I started streaming on there in 2020. I did a lot of like Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley, all those things. Um, but I think we're gonna start doing some board game stuff over there. So get excited for that. Get excited for the board game room transformation video. It'll be going up a little bit later this week. I love you guys so much. Remember, you are somebody's reason to smile and I will see you in the board game transformation video. Bye guys. I can't put my hand over it. I can't do it. I can't reach you.